Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you everyone for being here today. So as we get in, I want to shout out a few people for sending me such lovely birthday gifts from my Amazon um, gift wish list. So first of all, let me grab the items that you guys sent me and properly thank you for them. I also um, I'm going to post it in the community section as well. So I appreciate you guys. Y'all are so sweet to me. But let me get all my gifts. My gifts. Okay, so Miss Tippy Wong, she's a member. Hey, that is why we're at Sprinkle Sprinkle. So Miss Tippy Wong sent me this fabulous pink plasma lighter. And I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to thank her properly on the videos. But it is this pink plasma lighter. It doesn't work with flame. It just it's just little and you can charge it so you never have to um i think you can get like a lot of uses out of it i don't know how many but you just plug it up and charge it and right here is where the little plasma goes and you can light your candles like that by just pressing a button but first you got to charge it so it makes a little and you just light your candle so thank you miss tiffany and I appreciate this. I'm going, y'all know I like neat stuff like this. So um, I'm going to put it back in the box for now. But thank you, girl. Okay. Next person I want to thank. Well, she also sent me this, I think. It is this Aoi hair oil. And it's really good. So thank you also for sending me that. These were things on my Amazon list. And then Miss Silk Ray. Miss Silk Ray sent me this pretty pink hand blender or milk frother or whatever. So I can make all my cool drinks and smoothies and stuff like that. So thank you. She also sent me this scalp massager. And like when you wash your hair, it can really get in that scalp. And um, it's pink and it's really pretty. So thank you for that. And she also sent me this Peter Rabbit Beatrix Potter coloring book because I do like doing coloring books. And it's close to Easter and it's spring. So it's something that me and my daughters can do together or just me when I'm bored. So thank you. Um, so I appreciate you all. And of course, if y'all sent me a birthday gift and it's on the way, I will be all shouting you out as well. If y'all are interested in sending me a birthday gift, because my birthday is this week, um, the link is at the top in the description, and I'll also link it here. Um, thank you, Goddess Warrior. You sent me a, 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 a little blender for my smoothies, and we use it every morning. So thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, so let's get into the topic. Sorry, y'all took so long, but I have to shout y'all out because y'all do the most for me. And I really appreciate my subscribers and everybody who sends me anything and gives um, donations as well. So, and all the members, shout out to all the members too. Um, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, so let's get into it. Why? Okay, Sophie B, shout out to member Sophie B. Y'all become a member too. Hit the join button. Um, and y'all get the cool emojis. God is wild red in the house. All right. So why men will, why men like women who can walk away from them? Let's get, let's get this out of, I'm going to Pilates in a few minutes. So this is going to be a short video. So don't get too comfortable. Okay. <sighs> women who can walk away from men have options. They don't have to take whatever the guy, you know, says, must be this way in a relationship because they have options. They don't have to play these games because they have options. And a woman that can walk away from a man um, probably has better options. Okay. Keyword is better options, not other options, but better options. Because when a man walks away from a woman, and if it's a good woman or a woman that knows her worth, Sometimes the, it takes a while for the guy to find another woman as equal or, you know, as good looking or as cool or that has whatever in common with them. OK, so when a woman can walk away from a man and dismiss them like this, that makes the man want them more. That's why I tell you all to ghost men sometimes, because when you ghost a man and they can't figure it out, it's like. 
why did she ghost me? I was, you know, da, da, da. it's because a lot of times um, when someone gets too comfortable and too attached and too um, whatever, their value goes down as, a, as you know, as special or as the prize. So a lot of you ladies out there, uh, if y'all are confused about why the woman is the prize, it is because men must chase them. And we are literally the prize because if you are not able to go to the best or to someone that you deem quality, then you're not a prize. So if you can leave one person with no issue and move on to the next or even just be single, you don't even have to leave them for someone else. Sometimes you leave them for yourself because a lot of times women don't really need that extra complication in their lives. So even if you ghost a man to be single, it doesn't mean you're not dating. It doesn't mean you're not looking. It doesn't mean you're not having fun out there and doing the most. So when, when they know that you would rather be alone, then deal with them. It also makes them upset and they want you even more. So they'll try to come back and chase you. They'll try to come back and woo you. They'll try anything to get you back because they know, you know, your value. And so, you know, when a woman knows her value, she's even more valuable because she doesn't put up with just anyone or anything. So therefore her standards are high. And if her standards are high, if she moves on to the next dude, he's going to probably be much better than the guy that she left him for because she's learned lessons. She's gotten experience dealing with those type of guys. And now she's only allowing room for those who you know are there to improve her life. So it hurts guys to see you with someone that you deem better than them and they deem better than them themselves. So that's the best revenge, ladies. Y'all are always asking me, how do I get back up someone uh, or, a, a, you know, an ex or whatever, whatever. You just move up and do better. Even if you don't get with another man, make sure your life is looking good. Maybe sh make sure you're doing something, you know, positive or something that you enjoy and you're having great success at. Okay. Don't just sit there and follow and try to seek revenge on people because, it's silly and childish and um, you end up putting in more effort than you should be. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting ready to go to Pilates. So this is going to be a short video. So um, if, if a man walks away from you, let's reverse it now. If a man walks away from you or ghosts you with no explanation, or they may have other options and things like that, what you don't want to do as a woman is question it. You don't care. <laughs> You're unbothered. Okay. If you are not unbothered when you're ghosted, then you're doing this all wrong. The point of being ghosted is to be unbothered. Because a lot of times when a man ghosts a woman, sometimes, not all the time, it's to get the woman to chase. And you're not that type of woman. So you're not going to chase. A lot of another way, another reason is either they can't afford you or they found somebody else or they went back to whoever they were with in the first place. So you don't want to care why. If they wanted you, they would be there. Okay. So don't ever question why a man ghosts you. If they come back into your life, charge them admission. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, charge them admission. You want them back in, it's going to cost you, baby. And this is teaching them at the same time. If you ghost me again, it's going to cost you even more if you try to come back here. <laughs> right. And therefore, there's no feelings attached. There's only money attached when it comes to letting someone back in. So they know that you're not emotionally attached to them. So now their goal is to get you emotionally attached to them. And that's what they're going to keep trying to do. They, uh, men like to conquer. OK, so when you can't be conquered and you can just walk away, it leaves them with this yearning to conquer you or to chase you or to make you theirs or to make you see how valuable they are. And if you never get to see it, then they keep chasing until they give up and realize that they're never going to meet your standards and they let you go on to the next or about your business. But they will try. And if they do have what it takes they're going to prove themselves a lot of the time. Okay. Some will, some won't just depending on what they're looking for in life as well. Okay. Cause some guys just want to hit it and quit it and that's fine. 
But at the same time, you know, some of those guys realized one day, you know, that person um, was really, you know, all that. And then they try to come back. But, you know, a lot of times you got to charge them money. <laughs> and you start charging admissions for ghosts, you can make money from the living and the dead. Okay. <laughs> and just think about it. You, you own a club, right? You got the living that's paying, and then you got the dead that's paying. I'm calling ghost the dead because they didn't fell off. And now they're trying to get back in. So all, all, all contenders have to pay ghosts and new people and current people. <laughs> How do you charge them? Send them a gift list. Send them um, a cash app. Tell them you want to go shopping if he wants to see you again, meet you at the mall or wherever. Send him a link to a gift that you would like so he can order it and send it to you. I don't know. Or meet up and give it to you. I don't know. But you need to definitely charge them to come back into your life, no matter what. Because that means you can't, like, if you do this again, it's not costing me anything. It's costing you something. Okay? When you let someone back in without charging them, you look foolish. You look stupid. You look vulnerable. You look desperate. So if they want to come back, they need to pay. Okay, that's it. Nothing more. They need a gift or they need to pay. That way, if they ghost you again, you have something in your hand. Okay? <laughs> like, oh, I love getting ghosted. I get stuff. And if they try to come back, I get more stuff. There you go. You even, you even gold digging on the ghosts. Okay? That's how we do it over here. Sure, should you block your ex after breakup or just leave his number and say, don't block nobody. Let me tell y'all why. The only reason you should block someone is if you don't want to see anything that they're doing on social media, you know, or you don't want them contacting you anymore. If you don't care if he contacts you anymore, then it doesn't matter. You don't have to block. But if you don't want him to contact you anymore, then of course block. If they really want to contact you, they will find a way. Okay. Like, there are how many people have your phone number and contact information that you know of? And then how many people don't have your contact information that you know of? Then how do you get all these emails? How do you get all these stupid scam calls <laughs> and text messages? Okay. If they can find a way, he can find a way. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. That means he really likes you because he's he going to find a way. All right, she would do, yeah, um, block them if you want or don't. Like To me, maybe you can block them temporarily. And then when the thrill is gone, unblock. And if he ever try to come back, you better come bearing. Okay. Your married ex keeps trying to cheat on his new wife. with. They all do. Sprinkle, sprinkle, baby. Let me tell you all a secret. Married men are just like single men, except they have somewhere else to go after they visit their girlfriend's house. They go back to their wife's house. Okay. So a lot of ladies are opting out of marriage these days because they say men are unfaithful. And um, for me, I, I, I don't think that's enough to not want to get married because I look at marriage as a financial thing. So um, if you go into any type of marriage knowing that that is a possibility for them to cheat or whatnot, then you can be better be prepared and also have your, you know, true intentions. So it's all about how you think. It's all about perspective. It's all about how you feel about a certain situation and people. Uh, so just make sure you know that before you get emotionally, uh, you know, committed to someone, make sure you're financially, you know, able to process what's going on in your, in your relationship. Like, is this relationship really worth it? Then stay. If it's not, then go. <laughs> hmm. Whatever gifts you want, baby, ask for whatever gifts you want, whatever you think that he wants to give you or he can give you. How do you forgive yourself for mistakes with me? You don't. There are no mistakes. You did what you did and you learned your lesson. And so you're a better woman for it. And you're wiser because you can't get life experiences and intelligence without, you know, making mistakes. 
So I don't see I don't see them as mistakes. I see them as tools for learning. Um, never like you can warn other people not to do certain things. You can warn your uh, daughters or your sons or whoever, and you cannot repeat the same mistake. And it takes you to a better place if you don't make the same mistakes over and over. So I just say learn the lesson. Don't repeat. Mm hmm. Sook. You said some mistakes cost you your life, though. Well, then those are accidents. <laughs> okay. But at the same time, you get that airbag, you good. <clears throat> you got that Geico, you got that airbag. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. Marriage is for love really sounds like a scam. It is. Don't marriages. The first marriages were not made for love. Okay. People made it into that. Cause you can love without marriage. Think about that. You can be in love with somebody and don't even have to step uh, in the courts or in a church. You can love somebody and never marry them. But marriage is a contract and it's a financial one. Okay. <laughs> marriage just makes it easier. I mean, make, marriage makes it harder for them to leave you without financial responsibility. That, that's basically it. <laughs> So if you if you're the jealous type, if you're the type of woman who really wants a man to stick around and be a good this or get that, chances are he'll stay around longer if he is married to you. <laughs> that don't mean he ain't gonna cheat nothing, but it's gonna be harder for him to just pack up and leave because of all that paperwork, all that finance, you know, financial issues. All them, if you have kids, the kids, it's easy for a dusty to walk away with no papers. Okay. So marriage is more a contract to keep you um, insured financially <laughs> if you marry right, if you marry up, okay? Otherwise, it could be a trap if you marry down, so I wouldn't. Back in the old days, or even now, they say marry up. Uh-oh, Taisha, sprinkle, sprinkle. Welcome. So make sure you're getting that information and not... Just marrying for love because that makes no sense. You could be in a relationship just for love. You can fall in love or you can grow in love, I should say, in your marriage. Because you're going to be together, supposed to be together for years and years and years, right? So you have time. You have time to grow. Grow in love. Okay. And like if you can walk away, like, even if you're married, if, if your husband knows that you could leave at any time and still be good and, or do better, he going to keep that marriage. He going to try to keep that marriage going. He's going to try to do everything to make it right. So that's why level up or, you know, leveling up is very important even in marriage. Okay. Because men still think the same whether they're married or single. Okay. So think about that. Our minds change when we get married or when we have children and when we make a commitment. But there's pretty much it's like, okay, I can have both. Most of the time, once the novelty wears off, men start thinking like, oh, well, I can get both. And and I feel like I always say women could be the same way. But a lot of times our morals and values um, and, you know, sense of loyalty sometimes keeps us from understanding that or doing that. But at the same time, we have double standards, you know. So I feel like if if men can do it, women can do it. And if you don't want us to do it, then y'all stop doing it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so if a man, if you're able to walk away from a man, his greatest fear is you doing better and being happier and getting more out of someone else that's better than him. It's emasculating to him if he ever sees you with another man. Um that's better. Okay. Worse. It's not that bad. It may feel bad, but it's not as bad as if he sees you with someone better or doing better without him. So that's what he doesn't want to see. That's why he'll keep you around. Um, so being able, even if you're not a hundred percent financially secure, if you can get 
financially secure quickly with another person that's just as powerful, <laughs> okay? Maybe even more powerful. That's sad to say, but in this day and age, it is. You could be like, what if you were like really cute walking around, you know, you just super cute, all men turn their head when you walk in the room, but you don't have no savings and you're not, you know, you don't have a lot of money. If you left him, if you left your current man today, you might have a new one by the end of the week paying all bills, taking you to the dealership. That's how good you look. So beauty and how you are appealing to men is a threat because you can leave a dusty one day and be in a nice car with your name on it. And, you know, with somebody giving you stacks of cash and envelopes or cash after you or Venmo stuff. If you just be a, you know, look, so it's not, it's not you being financially stable. It's about you being appealing to others. Okay. Because anybody can be an independent woman these days. Okay. That's, that's the thing. Any woman can go to school or open a business and get some money, but not every woman can secure a bag at the end of the week that you just left your other man from. Okay. So that's why the level up is important. Uh oh. Manny Petty Sprinkle Sprinkle, you left your 50-50 husband after listening to you. You're at peace. It's amical and we see each other four times a month for two hours max. Thank you for my peace. Uh-oh, girl, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Well, I'm sorry to hear your, I don't know if you're officially divorced yet, but sometimes they be trying to get you back and you might get them to pay for all the bills. If, <laughs> if not, then, you know, I'm glad you have your peace. But thank you for the donation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, You said that's why your ex took your makeup. Exactly. That's why they don't want you looking good. That's why they want you with no makeup on, no weave, looking like who did it and why. Because they know that you can go out and replace them with no issue. <laughs> with someone pro possibly better. So never fall for the okie doke that they like you natural because that's not the truth. If they didn't meet you natural, they don't like you natural. If they didn't approach you naturally, they don't like you natural. They want, they like you looking like who did it and why other men out in public. So like I said on my last video, only be natural in the house with them. When you walk out the house, do all you need to do. Okay. <laughs> and always keep them on their toes. If men stay on their toes, you get much better treatment. You get more respect and they, they act better. Oh, Mimi, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. So make sure don't be don't be one of these doormat chicks. OK, don't don't be Pygmisha. Don't be Barbara the Builder. I know it, I know people talk and and say it's the best way to build with a man. And, you know, uh, I, but I love him and stuff like that. But those stories always end up terrible. Those stories always end up with the women looking dumb. OK, and, then, you know, at your story, you don't want you to, you don't want your story to end with you looking dumb. Think about all the women in Hollywood or uh, that you know who who married a Dusty or got with a Dusty. It didn't end well. Think about all the women that you married, I mean, that you knew that married, that couldn't find someone better or married the first, you know, pretty face they saw. And thought that that's the best that they could do, you know. Think about all the women who got with men who look better than them and couldn't easily replace them, except for if they had money. So remember that. And so don't think that you're special because if, if those women that you see on TV and online ain't special, you ain't special. What makes you special is the target you choose. They make you special. OK, the man makes you special when they know you can go do better, not the other way around. OK, if your man can go do better than you, you ain't the prize. <laughs> Remember that. OK, that's why you got to stay leveled up about your business and doing like and choosing the correct targets. If your man can go walk out the door and find someone better than you, then you chose wrong. Okay, think about that. Like that. that's why a lot of women don't worry when their man go anywhere because they know they can't replace them. Like you can't do them all bad out of there. 
And if you tried, I might congratulate. If you succeed, I might just be, you know, impressed. Those are the type that you need to where you would even be impressed. You're like, you know what? You can't even be mad. Like, I don't know how you pulled it off. I need to know your secrets. All right. And my Chi Chi, sprinkle, sprinkle. How can I attract? How can you reach attract a guy you dumped for another one? Love you. Um, I mean, if they if they liked you, they will always like you. And they if they're not waiting in line for you to be done with the other one, they don't really that's not the right target, baby. I'm sure they follow you on social media, right? Just post some thirst trap pics, you know, and if they don't respond, then oh well, they don't really want you that bad. A man will break his neck crossing the room or clicking on a picture if he really wants you, okay? Oh, CC in the house, sprinkle, sprinkle. You should just like if they if they have your socials, then you don't have to worry. Just put some thirst traps out. If they if they don't come running, then they don't want you. <laughs> All right. Um, I gotta go pretty soon, so I need to wrap up this video. Do y'all have any questions before I leave? Real quick, get them in. Hurry up! I got four minutes, then I gotta go, so I can get my Pilates class. Sure, you asked a guy to pay for a flight ticket and he said he would. How did I remind girl? No, sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, Mandisa, I would say if you have to remind him, just send him an email with a cash app or whatever and say it for the flight ticket. That's all you got to do. Or a text. If he doesn't respond, he ain't. he's not trying to pay. Leave him alone. Move it on. Okay. <laughs> That's the proper way to do that. He cheated, but he won't let me go. What should I do? Let him go, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or get him for some more money. Pay, make him pay for cheating. Honestly, if here's the thing. If he's not, if he cheated on you and he won't let you go, then make him pay. That's easy. Ask for super expensive gifts and all that kind of stuff. There you go. Uh-oh. Lulu, sprinkle, sprinkle. Make it difficult to be with you. Get spoiled. Get arrogant. Start sending him links and stuff that he you need him to buy. <laughs> and threaten to leave. Get your level up on. Look cute. When you leave the house every time, then he's going to feel like you can leave at any time. He's going to act right. Okay. But make him pay. And also make sure don't leave your house looking like who did and why ever. Always look good when you leave the house. Always. This has a, a huge impact on your men. If you look stupid when you leave the house, if you look ugly when you leave the house, if you look like no one is going to turn their head when you leave the house, you're leaving the house wrong, especially if you have a man. This is part of it. You, whenever you leave the house, you need your man need to be scared. Sparkle, sparkle. Uh oh, Mimi, sparkle, sparkle. Is it okay for my man to use his family's money to support you financially until he gets inheritance in two years? He give you over. Girl, no, it's not okay. Give all the money back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for the donation. Anyway. Shira, what if he has many female friends he likes their Instagram pics? Does he know them in person? Do they live in his city? If they don't live near, I don't care. Do what you want. If they live near, then you better, you better have some fear. <laughs> Especially... If he can upgrade on you, girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so, yes, whenever you leave your house, if, if you're married or if you live with a man, you need to look good. Don't don't even run an errand looking like trash. Don't because if they if they don't care how you look when you leave the house, if they're not worried about you, even if you're just going to run an errand, you're doing it wrong. OK. You need to look like the you need to look cute. You don't have to. Go all in, but you need to look cute, approachable. Okay? If you don't, then he he's gonna relax. He's gonna be like she ain't nobody gonna come up to that looking like who did it and why. I'm, I'm good. So that's another reason why I say stop going out looking like who did it and why because the men start to look at you like that too, with that you're with. Like oh she's going out in public like that. I don't have to worry about her. 
Yeah, if you do a little cute outfit and some soft makeup, make sure your hair looks cute. Every time you leave, make it a habit, okay? Because I know, I don't understand because I've never done it, but I don't understand how women can go out their house looking like who did it and why. I just don't understand that. Like they got DoorDash now, delivery. Don't even leave your house. Just have the stuff delivered if you don't feel like getting up and looking cute, okay? Have that stuff delivered. <laughs> There's no reason why we should see you looking your worst because you ran out of toilet paper. OK, because that's even that's a worse look. You with a, a rolls of toilet paper in line looking like who did it and why? What if you ran into your ex-boyfriend with his new girlfriend? You standing in line at the CVS with a big old thing, a toilet paper, a bonnet and some uh, pajamas. Don't do it. Don't be a victim. This is why some of y'all have regrets. <laughs> and this is why I don't have none. Because I don't set myself up for them like that. Okay? Because I've heard so many people talking about how they ran into their ex looking terrible. Or if they missed the opportunity. What if what if somebody walks in that, you know, that would have approached you if you were looking good and now they're just bypassing you because you're looking like who did it and why? Okay? You could have you could have met your match right there, girl. What? So look good. Always stay leveled up and a man don't want a woman that he that can't lose him. <laughs> OK, remember that. So when you try to match yourself into a relationship, when you try to find a target, put that on the list. If I should be able to leave at any time with no problem leveling up to the next. That's the correct target. OK, so I got to go, y'all. But thank you all so much, everybody who donated. If you all want to send me a birthday gift for my birthday, it is this week. And I have like a little Amazon list you guys can send to um, that. I picked out some of the things that I really like and you can pick something from there and send me something. Or if you are in my Patreon and you might have my P.O. box address, you can send me something there. I don't care. Um, but. I appreciate you guys, and I got to go get my workout on so that I can uh, look cute and stuff. <laughs> I got to stay on the level up. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Y'all hit the like button. Hit that like. I see all these people in here, but y'all haven't all hit the like. Come on. Y'all holding me up for Pilates. And once again, thank you guys who sent me birthday gifts already. I appreciate you. And I may do a collective birthday haul for all the gifts that you guys have sent. I'm going to try to save them up and show everyone what I got and what y'all sent me. I think that would be sweet. And I'll thank everyone, each personally. Uh-oh, the Yoruba goddess, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. I appreciate you. Y'all hit that like. Come on, get the like up. Y'all hit the like for my birthday. If y'all ain't going to send me nothing, at least send me a like. Come on. Um, come on, y'all can hit the like for my birthday. It's my birthday week. Come on. <laughs> hit the like on a video. Yes. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.